Hi, Susie Quattro here. I want to say hello to everybody there in Australia. We're going to get down there as soon as we can, and thank you all for getting behind Rock Hard. Right now, with Rock Hard, um, it's been a big hit. We've seen you sort of in, since, like, since the last time in Happy Days and yeah. things like that. Um, what, what do you enjoy these days doing? I mean, obviously you still enjoy doing, you know, rock music and that, and uh, going on, on tours and that, but what do you enjoy? I mean, do you like acting? Are you going to do I any more? I love acting. Um, we've turned down Happy Days for the past two years. Right. Uh, because otherwise I'll be boxed in. That'll be my character. Everybody will say, oh, Susie does Leather Tuscadero. Right. So we've stopped doing that. I did enough for them for everybody to know I can act. Right. Now we're looking at movie scripts. Right. And we're looking very hard. We're trying to find a movie script that's as good as Happy Days was for a TV show. Right. And that's not easy. No. So we are looking. And as soon as I find one, I'll go ahead and steam it and do it. Right. Now, I get very confused because you live here in London, mm. but you do spend a lot of time in America, don't you? Yeah. What, recording mainly or, and touring? Well, yeah, we tour there and we record there. We're, we go back and forth all the time. I mean, I live here because it's nice and quiet and right. peaceful. And when I come off the road, I like the change, you know? Right. Now, um, as far as choosing your material, does, I mean, how, how much influence has Mick Chapman got on you? Um, choosing, we all do it together. We, Lenny and I write for, from one album to the next. We just keep writing and we bring in everything that we have. Right. Mike finds songs that he thinks are good for us. They write a couple and we put them all together and we pick from there. Right. It's always done democratically. Well, I mean, Chapman sort of, I mean, you know, you're one of the first of, of, of the big ones that he, that he, he was uh, associated with. And of course, since then, he's sort of had a lot of success with Blondie and everything and The Knack. Um, but he has never really altered basically your sound, which has always been a sort of a successful formula. Is it because you won't allow him to, or he just doesn't want to, or you've all got a sort of a... Uh, I don't... It wouldn't work if you tried to alter my sound. You know, it wouldn't work if you tried to alter me. Right. I'm just, I'm just me. Right. I'm a one-off, thank God, most people say, you know. Right. You can't do anything with it. You try to go too far away and people would be very confused. Right. Now, I know it's sort of, um, well, not boring to have success in any country, but uh, you've been very closely associated with Australia over what? How long? I mean, when was the first tour? Eight years ago, mm. wasn't it? Um, uh, is there any chance of you coming down again for a tour? Every chance. Yeah? Very, very soon. I, I love touring Australia. It's one of my favorite places. Right. It was our first big concert tour after our first big success, you know? Right. It's really, I have good memories, all the bikies and yeah. screaming and shouting. Because and, Australians really let it go. Because you had that um, a sort of bike escort in, to, in right. from Melbourne, yeah. the airport, right? Guitars in. Yeah. They filmed me at the airport when we arrived and he burped into the microphone. I thought it was brilliant. Mm. <laughs> now listen, the other thing is, um, as far as like when you go on tours, I mean, do you still do all the old numbers as well? We try to keep in a few favorites. Like you always have to do your first hit, you know, right. I mean, even the Stones will tell you that. So we keep in about two from each album right. and go all the way through to the end. Right. You do a few solos, few, like, I do a bass solo like I always do. and just It's a nice rounded show. I mean, everybody gets off by the end. Right. Okay, well listen, um, Thanks for coming on the show again. You're Congratulations with Rock Hard, as both you know, you. the self-titled album and the, and, and, and the single itself. And, uh, well, we'll try to make up our own minds then about You're the single. Right. <laughs> All right? Okay. You're doing film clips of both? Yes. All right, we'll show both film clips right. okay, then. then. Thanks, Let Susie. the people choose. <laughs> All right. This ancient form of crass stupidity You seem to think it proves your masculinity Yeah. And I nail my mouth to an evil tasting 